And welcome back to Hannity. So last night during his sit-down interview with 60 Minutes, President-elect Donald Trump was asked about his plans to defeat ISIS. Very important. Listen to this. You have said that you're going to destroy ISIS. Now, how, how are you going to destroy I don't tell you that. I don't tell you that. Yeah, I'm not like the people going in right now and fighting Mosul and they announced it four months before they went into Mosul and everybody now is it's a tough fight because number one, the people from the leaders of ISIS have left. What do you why do I have to tell you that? Troops on the ground? I'm not gonna say anything. I don't want to tell them anything. So, does Donald Trump have a point? Also, earlier today, Senator Joni Ernst of Iowa wrote a letter to President Obama declaring, quote, ISIS and its sympathizers are growing more overt in Latin America. How can President-elect Donald Trump stop this growing threat for all of us? Here with reaction, former spokesman for the U.S. ambassador to the U.N. and Fox News contributor Rick Rennell, also the author of Defeating Jihad, Dr. Sebastian Gorka. Um, I would recommend both of you to work in some national security capacity for President-elect Trump, and I know you both. Why are you smiling, Rick? What's that smile about? I love your confidence in me, Sean. That's what I love. Um, but both of you are being talked about. Would you like that position, Dr. Gorka? Which position would I you like? I would take any position that they would offer me in national security because it would not only be an honor, it would be a duty to serve Mr. Trump. You know, I, you have been one of the most outspoken voices that understands defeating jihad. You wrote the book, The Winnable War. You wrote the book. You taught at Marine, Universe, Marine Corps University. You understand warfare. This enemy is getting mightier and stronger. True? Absolutely. Look at what the Obama administration said just two months ago. Uh, President Obama had his ISIS powwow in the Pentagon. The National Counterterrorism Center briefed him. That's the highest intelligence body on terrorism alone. They told him, and I quote directly because it leaked to the press, there are now fully operational ISIS affiliates in 18 nations. Problem with that, Sean, two years ago, that number was seven. Wow. They have more than doubled <clears throat> in two years. Have you spoken directly to President-elect Trump? Uh, I advised him. We talked national security several occasions last year, and this morning uh, I was in Trump Tower, not with him, but with other people who are working national security. Rick, what position? I mean, you have great credentials as well. What would you like to do if you had the chance? Because I know you're under consideration. Look, you know, I, I have to be honest with you. There's so much work to be done, and I'm ecstatic about President-elect Trump. Uh, whatever he says uh, that he wants people to do, I think everybody's going to jump to help him. He has got an enormous task. I mean, you think about uh, what's happening already in the Obama administration. I already hear President Obama talking like the next president is going to defeat ISIS. You know what that means, Sean? It means that for the next two and a half months, ISIS hears, ha, huh, we can do anything we want because for two and a half months while President Obama is still the president, He's not going to take us out. That makes me angry. President Obama still, I don't want to just say that the next president has to crush ISIS. This is a daily problem. We need to still go after them now. President Obama needs to put away the political thinking and get accurate intelligence so that we can crush the command and control center of ISIS today, not on January well, all right. 21st, what about, 22nd, 23rd. Dr. Gork, I'll throw this to you. What about the 1,000... FBI, Homeland Security investigations going on in the country today. ISIS, ISIS sympathizers in all 50 states. Isn't that, shouldn't that be at the top of the list that we think we have people here? Let's, let's talk not just about leads. We've got a thousand leads. That could pan out to what, whatever. We have arrested or killed 124 ISIS a terrorist on U.S. territory in just two and a half years. That's insane. Not 24. Not 34, 124, and that's just ISIS. That's not Al Qaeda. That's just ISIS, Sean. Yeah, but part of extreme vetting or not allowing, you know, what I don't understand, I like Syrian safe zones because people that are victims of a civil war, we can provide food, medicine, clothing, supplies, beds, and security, whatever they need. Um, I like that, but how do we invite people into a country when they grew up in a country where men get to tell women how to dress, they can't drive, they kill gays and lesbians, and Christians and Jews are persecuted. 
how do we, it, it contradicts our own constitutional Look, values. Sure, this is why Brexit happened. This is why the Trump train happened. It's the end of political correctness and insanity. Let me quote to you a Muslim chief of police from the biggest refugee camp in Jordan. I visited there with my family Christmas Day last year when he tells me as a Muslim, look, we're going to help these guys. I'm a Muslim, they're a Muslim. But you know what the long-term solution is? Go they home. go home. Right. We don't want to keep them here in Jordan. And the idea that they go, he said, the idea that they go further west is crazy. That's insanity. Yeah. Uh, Rick, what do you Sean, think? Can I add one thing to yes, this? Yes, sir. Bef before um, we even got to the point where we had millions of refugees, we saw the Obama administration refusing to make tough decisions throughout all of the Middle East. I mean, the Arab Spring turned into the Islamic awakening because we weren't able to, to lead the world. I hear from diplomats all the time at the UN. People are hungry for U.S. leadership. They want to plan on the Iran deal. They know the Iranians well, are question. not complying. The worldwide ambition caliphate is real, correct? They want convert or die. That, yes, and they're, it's the, real. and they're the first group, the first jihadi group in 90 years to do it, Sean. Yeah. No right. JV team. All right, guys, good to see you both. Good luck in your future endeavors. It'll be fun to watch uh, your hard work come to fruition. I think the country will benefit from both of you.